Dear friends, this video is topic 1 of basic skill of hydraulic excavator. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction and mining machines. We will discuss about A. Overview of hydraulic excavators. B. Components and systems of a hydraulic excavator. C. Benefits of hydraulic excavator. D. Safety considerations and best practices. Now we will start presenting different topic. A. Overview of hydraulic excavators. Hydraulic excavators are heavy construction machines used extensively in various industries, such as construction, mining, forestry, and demolition. These versatile machines are designed to perform a wide range of excavation, digging, lifting, and material handling tasks. They are equipped with hydraulic systems that provide the power and control required to operate the various components. The basic structure of a hydraulic excavator consists of a tract or wheel chassis, a rotating platform called the house or upper, and an articulated arm with a bucket or attachment at the end. The operator sits in a cabin located on the upper structure, which provides a commanding view of the work area. B. Components and Systems of a Hydraulic Excavator A hydraulic excavator consists of several components and systems that work together to enable its operation. Here are the key components and systems of a hydraulic excavator. 1. Undercarriage The undercarriage provides support, stability, and mobility to the hydraulic excavator. It consists of the following components. A tracks or wheels, hydraulic excavators may have either tracks, crawler excavators, or wheels, wheeled excavators. Tracks offer better stability, stability and traction on uneven terrain, while wheels provide greater speed and maneuverability on flat surfaces. B. Sprockets, idlers, and rollers, these components are part of the track system and help in the smooth movement of the tracks. 2. Upper Structure The upper structure, also known as the house, is the main body of the excavator. It contains the engine, hydraulic pumps, fuel tanks, and operator cabin. The upper structure can rotate 360 degrees, allowing the excavator to work in different directions without repositioning. 3. Power Source The power source of a hydraulic excavator is typically an internal combustion engine, commonly fueled by diesel. The engine provides the necessary mechanical power to drive the hydraulic system and other functions of the excavator. Equipment engine detail mention model, type of engine, rated power output, maximum torque etc. 4. Boom The boom is the arm-like structure that extends from the upper structure. It can be raised, lowered, and extended to reach various heights and distances. The boom's movements are controlled hydraulically. 5. Stick the stick, also known as the dipper arm or arm, is connected to the boom and provides additional reach and digging capability. It can be extended and retracted to adjust the digging depth. 6. Working Tools and Attachments Hydraulic excavators can be equipped with various working tools and attachments to perform specific tasks. The primary attachment is the bucket, used for digging, lifting, and moving materials. There are various types of buckets available, such as general purpose buckets, rock buckets, and trenching buckets, each designed for specific tasks. Other attachments include breakers, grapples, thumbs, rippers, and augers, which expand the excavator's capabilities for different applica applications. 7. Hydraulic System The hydraulic system is a crucial component of a hydraulic excavator. It utilizes hydraulic fluid, usually oil, to transmit power and control various functions of the machine. The hydraulic system comprises several components, including A hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump is responsible for generating the flow and pressure of hydraulic fluid. It converts the mechanical power from the engine into hydraulic energy. B. Hydraulic cylinders. Hydraulic cylinders are actuators that convert hydraulic pressure into linear mechanical force. They are used to control the movement of the boom, stick, and bucket, allowing for digging, lifting, and other operations. C. Control valves. Control valves regulate the flow and direction of hydraulic fluid in the system. They control the operation of hydraulic cylinders and other hydraulic components. D. Hydraulic hoses. Hydraulic hoses transport hydraulic fluid between various components of the hydraulic system. 
they must be durable and capable of withstanding high pressures. E. Hydraulic filters, hydraulic filters remove contaminants from the hydraulic fluid to ensure the smooth operation and longevity of hydraulic components. 8. Operator cabin. The operator cabin is designed for comfort and safety. It is equipped with controls, joysticks, and pedals that allow the operator to control the excavator's movements and functions. Modern excavators may feature ergonomic seats, climate control, and advanced monitoring systems for improved operator comfort and productivity. See the benefits of hydraulic excavators. 1. Versatility. Hydraulic excavators are highly versatile machines that can be equipped with a variety of attachments, such as breakers, grapples, rippers, and thumbs, allowing them to perform diverse tasks on the job site. 2. Power and efficiency. The hydraulic system provides high power output and excellent control, enabling precise digging, lifting, and maneuvering operations. They can handle heavy loads and operate in challenging conditions. 3. Mobility. Hydraulic excavators with tracks or wheels offer excellent mobility, allowing them to move easily across different terrains and access confined spaces. 4. Productivity. Hydraulic excavators are known for their productivity, as they can perform tasks quickly and efficiently, reducing project timelines and labor requirements. 5. Safety. Excavators are equipped with safety features and systems to protect the operator and surrounding personnel. Operator cabins are designed to provide good visibility and ergonomic control interfaces. These components and systems work together to enable the operation of a hydraulic excavator, providing the power, control, and mobility required to perform a wide range of excavation, digging, and material handling tasks in industries such as construction, mining, and forestry. D. Safety Considerations and Best Practices of Hydraulic Excavator Safety considerations and best practices are essential when operating hydraulic excavators to ensure the well-being of the operator, other workers on the job site, and the surrounding environment. Here are some key safety considerations and best practices for operating hydraulic excavators. 1. Operator Training and Qualifications Ensure that operators receive proper training and have the necessary qualifications to operate hydraulic excavators. Training should cover equipment operation, safety procedures, hazard identification, emergency protocols, and maintenance requirements. Operators should also be familiar with the manufacturer's instructions and guidelines for the specific model of excavator they are operating. 2. Pre-operational inspections. Before starting the excavator, conduct a thorough pre-operational inspection to check for any potential safety hazards or equipment malfunctions. Inspect the tracks or wheels, hydraulic hoses, control systems, attachments, and safety features. Address any issues or concerns before proceeding with operation. 3. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE. Ensure that operators and workers in the vicinity wear appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, including hard hats, high visibility vests, safety glasses, steel toe boots, and hearing protection. Depending on the specific job site and tasks, additional PP such as gloves and respiratory protection may be required. 4. Job Site Awareness and Communication Maintain clear communication between the excavator operator and other workers on the job site. Use standardized hand signals or two-way radios to ensure effective communication, especially when visibility or audible communication is limited. Establish designated safe zones and barriers to prevent unauthorized entry into the work area. 5. Safe Excavator Operation Follow safe operating procedures while operating the excavator, including A. Seatbelt Always wear the seatbelt when operating the excavator. B. Stability Ensure that the excavator is positioned on stable ground and the tracks or wheels are properly aligned and secured. See slope operation, exercise caution when operating on slopes or uneven terrain. Maintain stability and avoid excessive inclines or side slopes that may pose a tipping hazard. D. Overhead hazards. Be aware of overhead power lines, structures, and trees. Maintain a safe distance to avoid any contact or accidents. E. Digging safety. Exercise caution when digging near underground utilities, such as gas, water, or electrical lines. 
Use utility locators or other appropriate methods to identify and mark the location of buried services. F excavation depth. Be aware of the maximum safe excavation depth for the specific model of excavator and avoid exceeding it to prevent accidents or collapse. Sex, maintenance and inspection. Regularly inspect and maintain the excavator according to the manufacturer's recommendations. This includes checking fluid levels, inspecting hydraulic hoses for leaks or damage, and ensuring all safety features such as lights, alarms, and backup cameras are in working order. Promptly address any maintenance or repair needs to prevent equipment failure during operation. 7. Emergency Preparedness Have a comprehensive emergency response plan in place for potential accidents or incidents. This should include procedures for first aid, fire safety, equipment shutdown, and evacuation. Ensure that all workers are familiar with the plan and know the location of emergency equipment, such as fire extinguishers and first aid kits. 8. Shutdown Procedure The shutdown procedure of a hydraulic excavator is essential to ensure safe and proper operation, prevent damage to the machine, and extend its lifespan. Steps are stop operating, lower attachments, engage the parking brake, lower hydraulic pressure, idle engine, monitor gauges, shut down the engine, conduct visual inspection, secure the cab, and last but not least follow manufacturer's guidelines. Remember, safety should always be the top priority when operating hydraulic excavators. By following these safety considerations and best practices, the risk of accidents and injuries can be significantly reduced, creating a safer work environment for everyone involved. Friends, we have explained in brief about components and systems, benefits and safety considerations and best practices of hydraulic excavator. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comment section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, this is 100% free.